residential single stream material is brought to the MRF and dumped on the tipping floor. It is then loaded into a large feeding container at the start of the system. Advantages of the drum feeder include improved productivity, more effective pre-sort, and even flow of material. While the machine feeds the system, the loader operator is free to perform other duties like organizing the tipping floor. From the drum feeder, the material is inclined to the first pre-sort station, where workers remove large, bulky items. From this pre-sort, the material drops onto an OCC screen. Smaller, pliable material falls through the stars, while larger, rigid material like cardboard bounces over them. The smaller material that falls through drops onto a glass breaker fine screen to break and remove the glass and other 2-inch minus-sized material from the stream. The broken glass moves to a glass cleanup system for further separation to make it clean and sellable. The system screens material into four fractions. Oversized, fines, heavies, and lights. Remaining material now goes to a second pre-sort. Workers remove any small trash items, grocery bags, and small cardboard that fell through the OCC screen. Removing film and small OCC prior to the single stream screens is key to the system's success. The material drops onto an anti-wrapping ONP screen. This is the first of three screens designed to separate fiber from containers. The anti-wrapping feature dramatically reduces maintenance. After several hours of operation, the screen has virtually no material wrapped around its shafts. Large 2D fiber is scalped up and over the screen and goes through quality control, where contamination is removed by hand. The clean fiber end product flows into a storage conveyor for future bailing. This process is repeated on two more screens with progressively tighter spacing to maximize fiber recovery. Each of the three screens has its own QC line with access to a conveyor that takes any flat containers back to the container line. The 3D objects left on the third screen bounce back and are conveyed to an optical sorter for final fiber removal. The Tamra Auto Sort 4 recovers any remaining fiber prior to the container sort line. It identifies 2D sheet paper as well as 3D box board. Ejected fiber goes back to the mixed paper QC line for recovery. The remaining material is conveyed to the container recovery line, which is comprised of three additional auto sort fours. The containers then travel under an overbelt magnet. This powerful magnet lifts all ferrous cans from the transfer conveyor and discharges them into a storage bin for bailing. The material that passes under the magnet drops onto a manual container sort line. With all other commodities recovered, the remaining material drops off the manual sort belt onto an eddy current separator. The eddy current propels aluminum cans over a separation gate and onto a quality control conveyor. The clean aluminum is then transported to the appropriate bin via an air transport system. The final recovery station is located on the main platform to allow one sorter the chance to recover any fibers or containers. All stored material goes through two balers, including a high-speed, no-shear Bolograph HBC-120S. Both machines are capable of baling all commodities to achieve true baler redundancy. Contact us for more information on this system or for a tour of the facility.